Hello everyone, I'm Torior and welcome back to Let's Play... No, not Let's Play. Welcome back to Hans of Iron Starting Strategies. Last time we showed off Germany, so the next uh, logical choice is the Soviet Union. And again, I'm going to explain that this is not a f normal series, I'm just showing off a starting strategy. That I think is the best for a certain country. Now, with Germany we did an attack on Poland and then the Soviet Union before... Mm, before even engaging the Allies. And we annexed the Soviet Union by 38 by playing very casually and playing poorly, which was semi-intentional. I mean, I didn't play poorly intentional, intentionally, but I intentionally didn't pay much attention to the details, just to make sure that the strategy is sound, even if you don't play perfectly. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we're going to do the same thing as the Soviet Union against Germany. We have to go through Poland first. Now, let me have a quick look, because I don't remember. Do we have any event-based uh, event uh, war goals that we could get? Uh, Anti-fascist diplomacy? No. Because if we do this right, I mean, I can't justify on Poland and Germany simultaneously, because that would cause too much world tension and would uh, lead to Germany, um, to Poland being guaranteed. And we can't start with the purges because, you know, purges are bad for our army and we intend to use it early on. Um, theoretically, if I went this way to war with Germany, how long would that gain a puppet focus war goal against German Reich? This is interesting. But we'd need to eliminate the Trotsky plot first. Alright, never mind that. Requires uh, gains claim... This only gives us claims and not war goals. This only gives us claims, not war goals. Yeah, I believe... I believe this doesn't uh, give us a war goal directly. As you can see here, gain puppet focus war goal against German Reich, and here... Um, only gives us claims. So that won't give us a war goal, so it's, there's no use doing it. And this is way too far up the chain, would take way too long to do it. Uh, so what we're actually going to do is uh, just ignore the focus for now. Uh, get some uh, power. Justify a war goal in Poland. And then justify a war goal in Germany. Just like that. Now, um, this time we're going to take a slightly different approach to building up our troops. I'm going to focus on infantry again, because it is a very good choice early on if you want a huge, powerful army uh, before, you know, the, the historical start of the war. Uh, it's a good choice to focus on infantry in that uh, regard, uh, because infantry is uh, cheap. And uh, the mass assault doctrine um, for the Soviet Union is actually better for infantry than the mobile warfare doctrine that we had as Germany. And we could have played around with that, but, um, you know, didn't want to play around with that. <laughs> uh, we could do hospitals or logistics or even radio, um, but we're going, we're going real basic. We're just not paying attention to the details, uh, not making the best uh, set possible. Now... Um, I'm pretty sure about the first two technologies we've chosen, this for faster research and uh, uh, the doctrine, but now, do we choose production efficiency for more equipment, or do we choose this for slightly stronger infantry? Uh, I think we should choose this one, although I am not certain. We'd also choose this one, but by the time war, the war starts we wouldn't be able to get the extra equipment, so it won't matter by that time. Alright, um, I think we can do this one and then the other one before we actually start fighting. Now, as for the military factories, we will need tons of infantry equipment, we will need some support equipment, and we will need some artillery, and then we will also need tons and tons of infantry equipment. Now, as for resources, we need some rubber for the planes and for motorized. We don't really give a crap about planes right now. Actually, I'm going to cancel the production here, so we can get more infantry. As for the tanks, they will be helpful slightly, so I'm not going to cancel those. But I'm going to make motorized a higher priority. Uh, I guess I could do a few more motorized, because we're going to be augmenting our units with some more... Mm, you know... What's the word? 
what's the word? Support divisions, whatever. Support units. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna buy some rubber for the motorized divisions, but just that. Okay. Mm, as for dockyards, mm, sure, I'll do something just so they're not wasted. But I'm not going to purchase uh, resources to use them, and if we run out of steel, I'll just cancel these. So, as you can see, we need tons of infantry equipment. We need tons of other stuff as well. Uh, what we're going to do is prioritize reinforcements, prioritize upgrades as low, and prioritize uh, training more divisions as middle priority. And I will still train more divisions, because it's usually a good idea to have more troops, but now reinforcements are the priority for us. Okay, you guys will take the uh, Field Marshal Tuhachevsky, Mikhail Tuhachevsky, who is an excellent commander, because not only is he a Field Marshal of skill 4, he also has the Combat With modifier, which lets us um, get our divisions much stronger. We'll do that soon enough. All right, and you will be attacking Poland. Just like that. We're not going to do the purges yet. We might do them later. As for the Air Force, I'm going to focus all our Air Force over there. I'm not taking these units to Europe because um, there is a slight chance that Japan might join... Uh, that Japan might join uh, the Germans, uh, in which case we will need a defense in the area. But I can safely take uh, the planes out of the area. Let's take the planes over here. And let's take the, play and take the planes from Moscow over here. You know, we're going to be focusing on Poland and Germany only. And I do love the interface they have added in the last uh, DLC. Or, you know, the patch associated with that. Okay, mm, I guess it's time to unpause and speed the game up. And we need 50 political power to start just throwing a war goal on Poland. And again, we need to attack Poland so that we can go uh, to the Soviet... Uh, sorry, go to Germany. Theoretically, I could start this with a naval invasion. Just a naval invasion, which is doable. And we've seen Soviet Union do it successfully in uh, the test game for Germany. Uh, but, um, yeah, let's just do it this way. I think we'll be fine. As you can see, our troops are reinforcing nicely, but we haven't started, mm, still need tons of equipment for reinforcements. So it's going to be a while before we start training new troops, actually. Okay, as for the planes, I'm going to assign them over here. Just, you know, the basic missions. We will have air superiority. Not sure if we'll get air superiority over Germany. But if we are early enough, we might. Oh, crap. Okay, we're a long time late. I should have started justifying the war as soon as we get, got to 50 political power, but I'm an idiot and I didn't. Okay, anyway, let's start to focus. We could do this for extra political power, or we could do this for extra factories. They're both pretty good. I usually tend to start with stuff that gives me political power. Because we'll be able to get some nice people uh, to buff our country. Yeah, that was a stupid mistake. I delayed my war against Poland by a few days. But again, mm, this is meant to show that we can succeed even, you know, just doing the broad strokes attacks and uh, not giving, uh, not being too perfect. Theoretically, we could start justifying war against Germany now, also. And, you know, justify them simultaneously so we can attack them faster. But that would bring the world tension up so much that Poland would be guaranteed by the UK. And we don't want to fight the UK just yet. Yeah, right. We have a research buff. Let's get another one. Although, as we are going to war soon, I think I'll get more benefit from this. And we'll get the research buff soon enough. Stalin Constitution is done, we get some extra buffs. Okay, now, um, what exactly you choose here is, you know, there, there is no perfect choice usually, it's usually quite well balanced. We do want extra research slots, if we can get them. So there's one here. 
And there's one here. But we're not doing the purge yet. At least not for a while. So I think it is reasonable to go this way. Um, positive he heroism. Yes. Mm, progress cult. Socialist science. And finally, extra research slot. All theoretically, we could get this one through collectivist propaganda. So which one is the better choice? Positive heroism or collectivist propaganda? Uh, this gives us extra political power. Okay. Mm, this seems to be faster, but it is an illusion because we need one, two, three, and that's the fourth. And that's the same in here from what we have now. Um, so collectivist propaganda gives us uh, 120 political power and some national unity. National unity is not that important. Uh, this gives us some factories, factories, and that's it. Here we get uh, Zhukov. Must assault doctrine, that's a good one. And the armor guy we don't care about. Progress cult. That is research time minus 5%. This is very powerful. Socialist science recruitable population at 3%. Also very, very powerful. So I think this is the better choice. So we're going with positive heroism. Although that would cut us off from this. Women of aviation, workers, culture, construction speed 10%. This is also pretty powerful. Although I think we'll get more from this one. So let's go with positive heroism. Oh, and we have enough political power to employ someone. Now, my usual choice is the silent workhorse, but we don't have anyone like that here. Prince of Terror, no. Mm, Captain of Industry, useful. Popular figurehead, maybe. Uh, but I think the best choice for us here is to move to war economy. Oh, more than 15% world tension, and we're exactly at 15% world tension. Are we now? Hmm, that's a pity. I wanted to go to war economy immediately. Okay, if we can't do that, there are a few other things we could do. Uh, we could get a theorist. Mm, that's good. Mm, or we could wait for this guy. I mean, mass assault doctrine 10%. This is land doctrine research time 7%. This is going to be quite useful. Or Tukhachevsky. Oh, he's just as good, but, uh, this you know, the, the the purges could kill him. But he's also my favorite commander, so I will not kill him. Uh, that would give us a nice boost to our doctrines. Alternatively, I could just get uh, flat-out uh, bonuses to my uh, army strength from these guys, like uh, army regrouping expert. Or... Mm, no, no... No, no, no. Only this guy's good. Our guys suck. Um, this is good. No, not him. Not him. These two are good. Um, alternatively, I could go for limited conscription. Which will give us a lot more manpower. But that won't be necessary. At least not for a while. Okay, I guess I could go with the theorist. Let's go with Tukhachevsky. That will boost our doctrine. And as you can see, our doctrine research time is being... Is it being better? I think so. All right. So Poland is not guaranteed by anyone and we'll be able to attack them in um, 170 days. And we will. Now, mm, how are we doing on... Reinforcements. Everything we produce is being poured into reinforcements, which is which is fine. We do want our guys at full strength. Now, we're done with uh, the research. I could go with extra research buffs. Yes, I think I'll do that. Oh, see, these guys are ready to fight. Although I did leave them in Japan as a precaution, I think we'll be fine with these guys here. All right, positive heroism is draining our political power, but it's gonna be quite useful. We must make sure to leave some political power for just fighting a war against Germany, uh, but again, that can wait a little bit.
Political heroism is done, we can do progress cult, which will boost all our research, which is very powerful. Alright, Italy took some stuff which increased the world tension, but the world tension is going down on its own. Now, theoretically, we could try and find a sweet start, a spot to start justifying a war goal on Germany while doing that, but that would require extensive testing and seeing at what amount of world tension Poland is guaranteed by the UK exactly, and I'm not willing to do so much testing right at this moment. We'll just conquer Poland and then conquer Germany. Yeah, I screwed up with the fo with starting this justification a bit late, but if you're if you're replicating this, you'll do better. All right. Questioning Polish sovereignty, which pains me as a Polish person. Uh, right, it's thirty six, so taking these would be very helpful to our military strength, but it would also be very, very slow. Uh, so instead, I think we should focus on industry and getting lots of stuff ready for the fighting, or on support stuff. We could do that as well. Uh, but I don't think it's necessary. So I'm gonna do concentrated industry. Now, can I edit the template? Do I have enough points to add an extra infantry division? I have enough for one. I want to add 2, so our combat width is 22, so we can make full use of his bonus. I guess I'll do that. See, now, um, the reinforcements. Oh, you are already getting artillery. Nicely done. Progress cult is done. Now, social science will give us tons of recruitable population, so we will not have to adjust our manpower laws for a long time. Okay, we're close to being ready to attack Poland. I'm not going to modify the government now, because we'll need the points for justification of a war goal against Germany. Pocket defense, perfect. Let us continue. Okay. Well, theoretically I could do it, but... How long? 25 days... Now, I'll wait. We'll use it as soon as Poland is attacked. Okay, are you at full fighting strength? Most of you are, yes. Well, theoretically, maybe I shouldn't be training these guys yet. I could use the artillery to, you know, reinforce my guys. What do you need? Light tank and infantry equipment. I'll need these. Okay, good. I will add some uh, more units as soon as we get enough army experience. That will mm, weaken our guys for a short time. Okay, and we're ready to attack. And we will immediately declare war, conquer, go. And this will be over in no time. Actually, I'm going to start justifying a war goal on Germany immediately. Just so we don't waste any time. Now, that increased world tension. Uh, I hope it's not enough for Poland to join allies. Anyway, this, this isn't going to be a very easy fight, as you can see already. Alright then. And I can modify the government now. I suppose... I should go to war economy. As you can see, this is a very easy conquest. Socialist science is done, and we can get the extra research slot finally. And this will soon be done, and we'll annex Poland, giving us some extra resources and some extra, uh, some extra factories. I'm just gonna take all states. That's it. That's it. Now, Germany is going to be a more difficult opponent, but I think we have that covered. Now, what I'm going to do is assign them to a new plan. That will actually be a two-parter. Quite easy. Ta 
that's order number one. And that's order number two. Just go into their territory and kill everyone. Um, as for assigning troops, I'm going to assign everyone over here. And then the quarter of the remaining troops I'm going to assign over here. So they will quickly take care of that and then rejoin the main force. And you'll be super aggressive. Go set up and regain your composure. Um, right. What do we need for reinforcements? Manpower, infantry equipment, light tank, motorized tool, artillery support equipment. And we're training some more troops. Um, basically, we have the artillery to train them. The artillery is a very useful attachment. Okay, now what I'm going to do is modify the unit a bit. We want combat with 22, which is why I'm introducing another infantry unit. Because with Mikhail Tukhachevsky's uh, bonus, that will let us fit... Uh, you know, the perfect amount of troops. And let's also add an engineering company, which are usually quite useful. I'd love to add a signal company as well. Or possibly a heavy tank, but that is more... That's, you know, heavy detailed uh, work and stuff. Um, we don't really need to do it like this. We don't need to uh, be so thorough. Okay, you guys will go over here. You guys... Not all of you will go over here, and you will go over here. This should... Um, if I did this right, the airports should not be overpopulated. They are not overpopulated. All right. And now everyone here is going to focus on Germany. We won't need air support here, I think. Well, I'm not sure. I guess I could use a bit. We'll see the details when we declare the war. Death to fascists. Now, let's let Tukhachevsky prepare for the plan. And we can use the Polish fortifications, which there is a little bit of. As you can see, we have the upper hand in the general uh, calculation of comparative strength. Uh, we still need a lot more infantry equipment. I think I should adjust the production a bit. Let's reduce the amount of motorized and artillery produced, so we can get more infantry equipment done. Also, we did acquire some new factories, which will be helpful. Not a lot of them, and they need repairs, but um, I would advise against spending factories to repair stuff, because it repairs on its own, slowly. Now, these guys are here only in case Japan joins the war. I hope they won't. And I could use them here, of course. I'm ignoring the navy for now. Maybe that's not the perfect choice. Maybe I should send you over here to patrol. Convoy escort. Yeah, do that. No, whatever. Patrolling. Now, it'll take a while until we're, you know, before we're ready to attack the Germans. But having our troops at full strength is going to be quite helpful. So I'm currently focusing on reinforcing our troops. And we're using our amazing Mikhail Tukhachevsky general planning speed increase. Oh, cool. Now, as soon as we get some extra political power, I will also get another bonus to our military strength. Okay, we have increased our research speed a bit. I could go with this, or I could go with this, or I could go with one of these. Um, actually, Signal Company can be quite useful, but you need radio first, and it takes a while to do it. The reinforce rate is quite useful. Um, I guess I could do the Signal Company. I'm not sure it's worth it. As for the um, logistics, maybe logistics is better. Logistics gives... What does logistics give us exactly? Supply usage decrease. Yeah, that is helpful. But, you know, let's just focus on the basics now. We don't need uh, the details at the moment. I'm going with improving my infantry. Even if it's ahead of time and stuff. Also, we're about to get an extra research slot, which will also be helpful. Okay, how about that extra research slot? Almost done. Socialist science. Now, we might have some trouble with the Trotsky plot, but 
we could basically start the purges after we get the slot because um, we'll be done with Germany before the purges are done, most likely. But it's, it's, a, it's some risky business. Right, research slot is done. Now, I could do social realism for extra political power. I could do finish five-year plan for extra factories. Or I could start doing the purges now, which is risky, and I'd like to avoid that for now. So I think we'll go with this and this, because the industry buff will be quite helpful. And the extra research slot, I could spend it here. Yeah, production efficiency cap. That's going to be quite helpful in terms of producing more stuff faster. How long until I'm ready to attack? Quite a long time. How are we doing on reinforcements? Still need more infantry equipment. But we're getting there. Actually, we need more support equipment. Hmm. Let's do it like this. Now I will need to decrease this amount a little bit. Alright, that's better. Although theoretically, what I could do is this. This way they'll start getting the efficiency down. The efficiency will be increasing slightly already, and we can use that later. Alright, um, how are we doing? Yeah, we're not gaining as much political power as we would as the Germans, but we're still gaining enough. We're done with the concentrated industry buff, and now we're going to do another one of those, because that's quite, quite helpful. Or... Oh, that's good. Uh, or I could just go with this. Yeah, you know what? This, this is going to be quite helpful, even though it's ahead of time. Let's go with that, because our infantry will be much, much stronger, and we're relying quite heavily on it. The industry will have to wait. Maybe that is not a good choice. I'm not sure. Perhaps it's not the best choice ever. Perhaps I should change it. Huh. Well, it is a strong buff. Okay, and we'll get some extra military theorists soonish. How are we doing with the reinforcements? Oh, actually, we'll actually be able to deploy some troops soon, because we are fully reinforced now. Beautiful. Well, almost fully reinforced. We still need support equipment. Anyway, did that screw things up with production? No, no, it's fine. Okay, we can modify the government. Now, uh, we could do industrial stuff. Mm, we could do this, uh, Captain of Industry, or we could do some military things, like adding, which one were you? Army Regrouping Expert, Division Recovery Rate. Yeah, I think we need these buffs. Chief of Army, Army Drill, no. Army Reformer, no. Division Defense or Division Speed. I guess both of these are a good choice. I'll, I'll go with defense. Oh, right. How long until we are ready to attack? Soon. Now, I think I'd like to do socialist realism now. Uh, and then we can do this one. These are nice, of course, but not as nice. And social surrealism will let me hire another advisor, which will be quite helpful. Okay, let's have a look here. Some of them are almost ready to deploy. I mean, they are ready to deploy, some of them. They're not at full strength, but they would be helpful. I suppose I'll set your location to Warsaw. Maybe I should deploy them right before we attack the Germans. Hmm. Not sure. You know what? I think I might want that. So they can still get a little bit of a planning bonus. Let's wait until we have, like, 30 days left. 
right. Hindenburg disaster. All right, I think I should deploy them. Although they're not fully trained, they're not fully equipped. No, no, whatever. We're the Soviets, that's what we do. And assign them to the main attack plan. Defense in depth has been researched. Let's go with the next one. Now, deep battle or mass mobilization. Effect, um, this division attrition reduction is quite useful. But in general, I think we get more from this path. Because it has more stuff in it. Uh, infantry recovery rate, organization of infantry, uh, combat with... Oh, that's useful. Um, but that would require some careful planning. Ooh, recruitable population 5%. I did miss that. That is amazingly powerful. And how about this one, though? Supply consumption. Useful. Um, tanks organization. Not that useful. Max planning 10%. Eh. Combat width does the same thing. And reduce supply consumption. Mm, breakthrough in organization. That's more mechanized. You know what? I think I'll go with mass mobilization. The 5% recruitable population is quite powerful. Right. How's the reinforcement of the units that we just deployed going? Well, you still need much more stuff. Your organization is not great. But hopefully you can get that before we attack. Maybe. Still need what? What do we need? Support equipment and infantry equipment. And we did improve with machine tools, finally. Uh, so I guess the best choice here is concentrated industry right now. Okay, perfect. We're basically ready to attack. Now, most of these choices I'm just making on a whim. Uh, it's just because they don't matter that much. And we're ready to attack. Now, if I did everything right, we should cut through the Germans without too much trouble. Let's see. And let's also observe the Illy Joint Axis. Okay, this is slightly difficult. And so did Japan. We can beat them, but it's going to be slightly problematic. And they're going to be called into the war. We can take care of Italy. Uh, Japan can be a little bit problematic. Ooh, I put my troops at the wrong border. I guess it doesn't really matter. But in this case, I need to adjust for what's happening. Um, okay, it is... Theoretically, it's a valid strategy. Are you, like, a puppet of Japan? Yes, but why are you not in the war? Why are you not in uh, the war? Okay, you'll do what you need to do. Um, so this is not the perfect strategy, apparently, because... Japan, join the Axis. We don't want Japan in the Axis. We don't want Japan at war with us. Because Japan is quite difficult to conquer completely. You have to do naval invasions and stuff. Uh, but Italy is not really a problem. But let's, let's continue this and see how well we can, you know, go about the whole thing. Okay, social realism is done. I can now move the industry, which will give us a tremendous uh, buff to our economy. Or I could do the purges, but no. And we can now modify the government, um, which I will use to do the army regrouping expert guy. As you can see, we're cutting through the Germans without too much effort. And when Germany surrenders... Of Leningrad? Did he do a naval invasion? Oh! Good job, Germany! I guess what I'll do is use these guys as a separate army to deal with this. 
once they're done over here. Yeah, I, I made the same mistake of uh, underestimating the naval invasion capabilities of my enemy in the German thing, but now we're going to react Im immediately and deal with that. Alright, how's, how's the air superiority? Not great. Let's send some reinforcements. No, still not great. Alright, we've dealt with them. Now I'm going to separate them as a different army. Not all of them, maybe. All right, some of you go back to Tuchachevsky's army. You go here. And this gets a general. Mm, he's good. And you get assigned over here to deal with the threat of the Germans. That won't take you too much time, will it? Stop your stuff. Do your things. Everyone reassigned here. Make sure to execute the plan. Germany should capitulate very soon. I mean, not very soon, but soon. Okay, we are having some difficulty cutting through them because we have reached uh, some fortifications, but... Oh no, was that just a river? Anyway, we're cutting through them. Let's have a quick look over here. Japan is a more difficult case, but we are... Uh, we do have some defenses here which will probably be sufficient. Let's call our mm, little puppets. Maybe they'll be helpful. Now, we can deal with Japan later. The important thing is to beat the Germans quickly and then deal with Italy quickly. And then we can focus on Japan. That requires naval invasions. And naval invasions are problematic, especially in Japan. That's not something I like doing. Also, that will require some research. When we have a free slot, that is. Oh, you landed back here. Did not expect you to, but it is not a problem. This is the runner around and killer army. I'm not going to let them cut me off from my from my supplies or anything. Well, the air superiority is a problem, but we still have some guys, which is helping a bit. Oh, we don't, we're not doing a focus. That's a mistake. Wait a minute, I clicked this. Why is that not... Did I not click this? Maybe I just didn't click this. Alright. Maybe it was cancelled by me not controlling Leningrad? No, I, that, that's weird. Right, you. Kill the Germans. Okay, this is taking a little while, but we're about to cut through to Berlin. And our field marshal is amazing. And we'll go, we're going to get some extra buffs from research soon enough. What are you researching now? Technical air effort. Well, that's a mistake. Yeah, you guys will be fine. I guess I'll, I'll go with balanced. Uh, supplies, not so great. Not so great. And we've taken Berlin. How's the situation on the Japanese front? Or, nope, no naval invasions here. Yeah, the situation here is not great, but we're at least holding them back. Which is sufficient. Actually, I should probably adjust for that as well. Just redo it from the beginning. That's not the best way to do this, but yeah. We have to, you know, reorder themselves a little bit. And we could have crushed them if I assigned more troops, but I think this is a priority. Now, the Germans um, have pretty high national unity, so I'll have to go far before they surrender. But surrender, they will. We already cornered some of their units in little pockets, um, and we are proceeding to exterminate. Now, they're sending a naval invasion. Where are you sending the naval invasion to? Is it over here? Or is it somewhere else? We'll see soon, I guess. It 
could be here, or it could be here. It's probably here. Anyway, we're cutting through Germany quite easily. The problem will be getting to um, Italy, because I attacked before Austria was taken. So that is a possible adjustment. Maybe we should wait until Anschluss, just so we can more easily cut down to Italy. Because this will be problematic. Okay, um, we've moved our industry. This is not necessary. I guess we could do armament effort, because I'm not doing the purges yet. Oh, and we can modify. We can modify. What could we do? I guess I could do industrial. Or in... Oh, no. Infantry equipment. Yeah, that. Should have done that earlier. Should have done that earlier. So remember that when you're devising your own strategy. Okay, now, this is ahead of time, I know, but it's going to be such a great boost that I'm doing this anyway. As you can see, we're about to mm, be done with Germany. They pose no threat anymore. Take Munich. We have broken them. Well, we might need to take Essen as well. But we have broken them. All right, that's some extra infantry power. And again, this is this is a bit too much at the time, so we're not doing that one yet. But what we are doing, it's 37, so I could do this. That will play nicely with um, with this, because that will convert my equipment to better equipment. Or I could do this one for increased research speed, and I think it's a good choice. It's only a few days out of time, so the penalty is not that great. Okay, uh, just take Essen already, please. Almost there. Almost there. Here come the, the Russian tanks. Germany has given up, and we have stolen a lot of stuff from them. Anyway, now the problem is that we need to deal with the Italians. And the problem with dealing with the Italians is we don't have a direct land border. This is why I believe it would have been better to wait for Anschluss to happen. That would make Germany a little bit stronger, but I could just cut through down here and go to Italy and make them surrender now. Uh, yeah. As for fighting Germany on its own, um, I think we didn't do any make any serious mistakes here. We cut through them quite easily. It's, 1937 and we have made Germany surrender. Um, as for Japan, okay, what, um, I'm not going to continue this now because we're only supposed to test the opener, but what I would do now, what are the next moves in this campaign? First of all, we need to deal with Italy. And if I had waited for Anschluss of Austria, it would have been a little bit more um, convenient because I would just walk across through here and, you know, kill them. Now, in this case, we can't do that, obviously. What we can do is naval invasions. So we would prepare some naval invasions from here, invade uh, the southern bit of Italy, and then transport lots of troops here to fight for us. As for Japan, we would assign a lot of troops to take all of this territory, and then also do naval invasions here, which means we would have to research, and that, basically, let's wait three days. Okay, my next research would have been this. It is ahead of time, it's going to take a long time, but uh, better naval invasions might be necessary in this case. So this is what I would do. Or we could theoretically just wait a bit longer. I mean, two years ahead of time is a bit much. But we can still do a lot of naval invasions with what we have. We can do up to 10 units, but that can be... 10 one-unit armies each going for a different province. And then when we get a port, we can just normally transport all of the remaining troops. So I would divide our troops into three parts. One of them would defend uh, the acquired country from attacks like this one. One of them would uh, do naval invasions of Italy. Uh, basically, first a few small armies, and once we have acquired a port, just transporting everyone. And the third part would take care of first taking back uh, this part or taking, just taking this part, uh, controlled by Japan, and then they would be assigned to doing naval invasions of Japan proper. 
and as Germany is the strongest of the bunch and we have already beaten, beaten them, this really wouldn't pose too much of a problem, although beating Japan would be a little bit annoying because of all the naval stuff. With Italy, it's much easier because, uh, you know, if we get military access through Austria, uh, would you give me military access? You would not give me military access. But, you know, we could we could have gotten it earlier. Um, maybe Switzerland would give me military access, although probably not. No? How about France? No. Austria is the best pick for this. Uh, we, could, we could make them uh, give us uh, military access earlier, or I can just, you know, send some naval invasions. Um, Italy is easier. Italy is easier because um, it doesn't have such high national unity. National unity of 85, while Japan, I think, is hovering at 90. Oh no, I was mistaken here. Maybe they can get to 90 later. Anyway, oh, they're getting into a war with China. We might get China into the common term. Anyway, um, so yeah, that, that would be the plan. Bas roughly one third of our units defending the territory required, one third invading Italy with the best commander. Uh, this guy, and one third taking care of this area. And once we've dealt with Italy, I would move almost all of our troops, just leaving like 10 units just in case, I would move all of our troops here and start a massive invasion of Japan. That's it, that's the plan. And that is how we deal with the Axis. And there's only the Allies left, and the Allies are not as strong as us, owning all the Axis territory, um, including some uh, bits of Africa even. So yeah, that is my opening move for the Soviet Union. I would adjust it a bit. Uh, the alternative would be to attack Germany with naval invasions, which is very inconvenient, and I would advise against it. Or the other alternative would be to just wait for Germany to do the Anschluss of Austria before... Uh, Anschluss. The Anschluss of Austria before we attack them just so we can cut through Austria to Italy. And I think that, the, that is an adjustment I would actually like to make if I attempt this in the future. And yeah, dealing with Japan is always annoying, but um, I think uh, I'm pretty confident it would be too much of a problem. All uh, right, and that is basically it. Once we, are, once we have conquered Italy and Germany and Japan, we just build up our strength and taking over the rest of the world won't be a problem. That's it for this episode. I hope you are enjoying this format. And of course, let me know in the comments if you have a different strategy for the Soviet Union. I mean, not nitpick the details like, uh, you know, one, um, like different technologies at different points, unless it's something very important. Uh, one thing I would also consider as um, the Soviet Union, as well as um, with Germany, is boosting party popularity in the United States so that they would join you against, uh, maybe even against Japan, when Japan attacks them, that could make it a bit easier to convince them, or, mm, yeah, invite a faction, where's that? Obviously we can't do that, because communist stuff, but if we changed their ideology to communist, and uh, they were at war with Japan, we could easily get them into our alliance and then use them to be the allies. The United States don't aren't very strong until later in the game, but if you change their ideology, they would be. And then you can break the alliance and conquer them later on if you want to. Um, the main thing with the United States is that they're very good at naval invasions, and they do a lot of them. So they would be helpful. Uh, the most helpful thing about getting them on our side is not having them against us. Because naval invasions can be dangerous and annoying. But we can, we can still you know, manage to do it on our own. Um, anyway, also the next move after this, um, since we're not... Uh, the first next move after dealing with uh, Italy and Japan, which would ca happen relatively quickly, especially if we had this done. Basically, the first move after dealing with Italy, I would do the purges to avoid a civil war, or if you prefer, you can fight the civil war, it's interesting. That's about it. I'm going to end this episode here. And as I was saying, let me know if you have a different strategy or if you have an adjustment to this one in the comments. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.